subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. After import edf file and export f2b file to save version 12. First we go to design, design preferences to select our design code. Here we selected ACI 31808. Now we selected preferred bar size to number 4 for the slab design. Now go to define, load combination and click on add default design combos. And here we only selected a strength 30 minute option. The load combinations add automatically according to the design code we selected. Here this is a 1.4 thread load. And you click on YouTube, this is 1.2 thread and 1.6 live load. Now we are making a service load in which the factor of that load as well as the live load is 1. Go to design and the design combos. Now here we are only selecting the gravity load combos. Now you click on U1 and you click on U2. Both are the gravity load combos. You click on U1. Here it is 1.4 dead load. And you click on U2. This is 1.2 dead load plus 1.6 live load. Now there are two options for the equivalent frame method in safe version 12. We are using option 1 in which we draw the strip in the main model. First we are dimensioning the slab. Now for drawing the strip in the model, we go to draw and draw design strips. Here the strip width is span by 4 and our span is 15.5. So the strip width left and right 3.875 feet. And this is the B strip layer and column strip now this is the strips which we are designing Now for the equivalent frame, go to tools and equivalent frame. Now here we are selecting the add new FEM from strip object. Now this CSB2 is the strip which we draw in the main model. Now look at the span length. These are the same as main model. Now first go to edit and design preferences. Here we using 60 grade steel for the rebar material and for the slab cover we choose from preferences of the main model. Now go to edit slab data. This is the slab data of the strip. We have 6.5 inch thick slab for the span of 24.59 feet. So now we are assigning a 6.5 inch thick slab. So 
after 0 feet absolute distance we have 6.5 inch slab and the before 24.59 feet. The strip width is the same 3.875 feet for the full strip. Here for the 6.5 inch thick slab, the absolute distance location before is 24.59 feet now go to edit beam data these are the beams which is exist in the main model now go to edit point support data here the column support data is present here so three column supports at the zero foot absolute distance 24.59 absolute distance and 51.51 absolute distance for the first support left span is left cantilever and right span is s1 for the second support the left span is s1 and the right span is s2 Now go to edit point load data. So here no point load exists. Go to edit and line load data. This is the wall load which we define in the main model. We assigned this wall load in the ETAPS model. Now go to edit and the area load data. Here. The live load is 80 PSF from start to end and the floor finishes is 30 PSF from the start to end. Look at this live data from the 0 to 58.01 absolute distance. This is the floor finishes 30 PSF floor finishes. Now go to edit and grid line data this is the grid data of the strip now go to run and run analysis now go to display show deform shape for the deform shape of the strip Selecting the load combination of the service. Now look at this. The first column is showing absolute distance. And the third column is showing the displacement in the Z direction.
look at this this is also showing the displacement in the z direction when you are moving the cursor now go to display show forces selecting the load combination to service and this is the force data of the strip the moment values the shear value the fourth column is showing the shear value in the kip and the last column is showing the moment in kip fit form Now here see if at the 51.51 absolute distance there is 124.57 kip fit moment. Now go to display show axial stress controls and selecting a load combo to service. This is the axial stress controls. If you like my video, please do subscribe and share it. Now go to display, show design reinforcing to check the reinforcement in a strip. So here, first selecting the bottom luxury bar. Now this is the bottom reinforcement of the strip. Here in the diagram, the both values are showing and also in the table format both values are showing the top reinforcement and the bottom reinforcement the first column is showing the location and the third column is showing the top reinforcement if required the reinforcement at this location and the fourth column is showing the reinforcement at the bottom so here the bottom reinforcement 0.9399 inch at the 10.80 feet absolute distance. Now look at this. At the 39.0 feet absolute distance, there is 1.0867 inches per reinforcement required in the bottom. Now go to display, show design reinforcing and selecting the top luxury bar. Show in the graphical formation. Here look at this, the top reinforcement is required at the support. 0 0.8029 at the 0 feet absolute distance. Here 1.7078, 24.59 absolute distance. The same is showing in the graphical form. Now at the location of 50.75 feet absolute distance, there is 1.246 inches per steel required at the top face of the strip. If you like my video, please do subscribe and share it.